Well, the lagoon within Swansea is the first of its kind in the world. You'll have a 9.5 kilometer wall sitting two and a half kilometers out at sea. The power output from that will generate approximately 11% of Wales' domestic use for the next 120 years and more. The combination of different governmental organisations all being on the same line and, and the same vision that this is now going to happen in, in Wales has been very obvious. Uh, Marine Energy Pembrokeshire is a collaboration between wave and tidal technology developers. The aim is to provide a single point of access for marine energy developers in Wales. He comes along to our working group meetings and in one day he can meet up with the Welsh European Funding Office, he can meet up with Government Natural Resources Wales to talk about consenting, he can meet up with local supply chain companies. Demonstration Jones' aim is to do some consenting work and also look at infrastructure. And what this could potentially do for developers is it probably cuts their project development timescales by about three to five years. And that obviously saves them a lot of money and allows the technology developers to really crack on and focus on their technology and less worry about project and site development. There is a good supply chain here in engineering, marine knowledge, all of which can be utilised for the development of this industry. With this being the first lagoon in the world and another five lagoons that we're looking to develop. Four of those are in Wales with a capex of £40 billion. This is a great opportunity for companies based here in Wales and the UK. Welsh governments have been emphasising the importance of marine energy in Wales and they've backed it up making this the most attractive tidal stream zone in Western Europe if not in the world. It feels really exciting in Wales at the moment. If you add up the structural funding that we have in place to support, we have business support from Welsh Government and buy-in to bring this forward, tidal range schemes, four seabed agreements in place, demonstration zones, huge international interest at the moment. We've had developers come and visit Wales from America, Australia, Sweden, Italy, Denmark. So yeah, it really is driving interest into Wales and at the moment it feels like a good place to come and, come and do business. I think this is a golden opportunity for at this moment to come to Wales and establish your business.